Addiction 911, Disease Model of Addiction. After watching this video, you will be able to explain how addiction fits into a disease model, compare dopamine released as a result of drugs to sex or food, and describe how the brain changes in a person dependent on drugs. When you hear the word addiction, what comes to mind? Most people, when they hear the word addiction, think about the worst aspects of the problem, the behaviors that are easily seen by others. What we don't see, and what people don't often think about, is that addiction is a disease, a disease that is extremely stigmatized. Many people think that if someone wanted, they could just stop using. In reality, especially for substances that cause physical dependence, such as opioids, benzodiazepines, and alcohol, changing use patterns is extremely challenging because of what's going on inside the person. Deep inside our brain lives our pleasure center. Lots of things can activate our pleasure center. Food, exercise, sex, and substances, to name a few. Let's take food, for example. When we eat a food we like, chemicals from the food travel to the pleasure center part of our brain and attach to brain receptors, which creates dopamine, the feel-good chemical. Now, if we think of our pleasure center as a feel-good tank, when we eat food, our feel-good tank increases a little. Substances, like food, also cause the creation of dopamine. Unlike with food, though, substances cause the feel-good tank to overflow. Over time, because of substances, those normal, everyday pleasure center activators are less effective at increasing our feel-good tank. And over time, they result in barely any pleasure at all. With more time, these substances become the only way that a person can activate the pleasure center, although the level of activation decreases over time. Eventually, extended use leads to even substances not activating the pleasure center. Instead, the substance becomes necessary to keep the person from feeling really, really bad. The brain becomes dependent on the substance, which is why substance use disorders are considered a disease you're probably still wondering about those bad things we see with addiction. Crime, irresponsibility, lack of respect for others. How does that fit into the disease model of addiction? Because our brain is trying desperately to not feel bad, it develops tunnel vision on obtaining a substance no matter what. It's a compulsion. It has to be obtained. Feeling bad must be avoided. The brain loses sight of things like values, responsibilities, and laws. Its sole focus is to not feel bad. Does this mean that people with addiction should be free to do whatever they have to to feel better? No. What this means is that we can't shame someone into ceasing their use, because what may have started with a first-time choice turns into an all-encompassing disease and dependence.